Greetings, puny mortals. As my day approaches, I require one, no, two virgin sacrifices each day, or I, Epic Guy Randy, will lay waste to your Halloween party with some of these cocktails I'm going to show you how to make. These cocktails are fabulous. They look as good as they taste, and there's something here for everyone. No matter how large or small your party, you can make it stand out using my recipe. We are quickly approaching one of my favorite holidays of the year, Halloween of course, and what can really make or break a good Halloween party is whether or not the cocktails and the snacks are themed along with the atmosphere the rest of the evening. So I've put together a series of Halloween cocktail videos here to help you out with that. Tonight I want to show you how to make what I call Dracula's Curse. As with all of my Halloween cocktails, you've got to start with a fabulous piece of glassware. This is a giant glass goblet that just feels fabulous holding on to it. The base is thick and heavy, it just lends a lot to the drink. As with several of my other cocktails, I'm going to sugar the rim. This time I'm going to use some black sanding sugar. Let's get the edge of this nice and sticky. Once enough of the simple syrup has, has dripped off of there. You can scrape a little bit off of it if you need to, because you just need a little bit to make it sticky. Then you stick it right over in your sanding sugar. And that looks fabulous. We're going to build this cocktail in a shaker, so I'm going to move this over a little bit. And we need to put some ice in our tin. Next, you need an ounce of light rum. And an ounce of vodka. And a half an ounce of Cointro. A half ounce of Chambord. And two ounces of blackberry liqueur. and just a splash of grenadine. Then you want to put your shaker back together. Give this a good shake. Now you need to put a few ice cubes into your glass. This is a fairly large drink, so it's going to last a little while. So you want to get a few fresh ice cubes in this glass. Then just strain this back into your glass. Then, as the last touch, just like the purple potion, you can put a piece of dry ice in this. It's big enough that nobody's really going to get it on their lip. They need to know about it. But if you can get a piece of dry ice in there, it's going to sink right to the bottom. And now you've got yourself Dracula's Curse. Thanks for watching. Always drink responsibly. And remember that on Halloween, if you're not getting scared or scaring somebody else, you're not doing it right. See you next time.